Greetings, dear friends! I present your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Suzuki Grand Vitara. We don't have rear-wheel drive Vitara, although such theoretically existed in the USA. Five-door cars are equipped with a full-fledged transfer case with permanent all-wheel drive and a reduction gear, but three-door cars with a 1.6-liter engine are content with a simpler one without a lowering gear, with a completely inefficient cam self-block. You can also find cars from the USA with a connected front axle, but this is quite rare. However, this is easily fixable if a person is ready to get confused with altering not only the transfer case itself, but also the electronics that control it, as well as replacing the wiring harness. Permanent four-wheel drive with a center lock and a reduction gear and even with an optional rear axle lock is quite a serious arsenal for the SUV, and it's also at least four transmission units versus one or two in most crossovers. And for complete happiness, two carbon shafts. Of course, all this economy, although it works very reliably, nevertheless requires maintenance. It is necessary to change the oil regularly, and judging by the reviews, it is best to pour not the original mineral water, but transmission semi-synthetics with reduced viscosity. Seals should be checked regularly for leaks, but with us it is quite easy to do. Any oil leak is clearly visible against the background of a dirty unit. On machines on the first and second restyling, the reliability of the front axle gearboxes is extremely low. Any excessive load quickly leads to failure of the bearings, and if the situation starts, then the main pair. Additional risk factors are heating from the engine and the unfortunate location of the gearbox breather. When forcing even a shallow port, water can get inside. Of course, the breather is let out into a rubber tube, the end of which is fixed at the very top of the engine compartment, but for most machines the system works normally, which means it is not very reliable. The quality of the seals, unfortunately, is far from ideal. They flow in both on cars and on cross-country ones. Replacement doesn't always help to fix the problem for a long time. An unsuccessful tool, the dirty planes, a bad supplier, and here again everything is under replacement. But there are more than a dozen oil seals. In general, you will have to change open, and sometimes it's try to hammer if the oil leaks is insignificant. The carton shafts here are actually not quite carton. They have CV joints on them, except that the oldest cars produced in 2005-2007 have cartons in the drive, and CV joints have covers that sometimes tear and it is better to change them immediately. But there are no officially covers for sale and there are no CV joints, there are only assembled shafts, which are, you, as you understand, cost absolutely indecent money. All these factors lead to the fact that transmission failures on older cars are one of the most frequent and expensive faults, and also one of the most troublesome. By the way, if all three lamps of transmission modes are flashing, then do not rush to repair the transfer case. Most likely it's either wiring or ESP failures or ignition system failures. There are no buggy sensors or vacuum actu actuator here. Manual transmissions are generally very sturdy, but the clutches fail, which wear out early, and the gear shifts mechanism with weak traction. The second problem was eventually solved by cardinally straightening the part, but the hydraulic clutch remained the same, not particularly resourceful and not very convenient. If you remove the restrictor jet from the drive, then it will be more convenient to use it. But the price of a hydraulic cylinder combined with the release bearing is still high. It is easy to damage it if the clutch is unsuccessfully installed, but the clutch itself is still weak and requires very careful handling. For most owners, it will have to be changed every 60-80,000 km. Rarely anyone manages to run more than 150,000 on one set, and the risk is not justified. When the disc wears out, the basket breaks very easily, which entails additional costs. In addition, the operation of replacing the clutch is expensive and traumatic. If not removed carefully, it is easy to damage the wiring or something else. But otherwise, cars with manual transmission do not have any serious difficulties. With automatic transmission, two special surprises cannot be expected. Suzuki installed two icing automatic transmissions on the Grand Vitara and the best Toyota series. With engines of 1.6, 2.0 and 2.4 liters and sometimes with 2.7, a 4-speed gearbox A44DE aka AW0372 worked. If you don't remember this, then it was it who stoned, stood on the rear-wheel drive Previa and Mark II. And the engines of 2.7 and 3.2 liters for American market, they began to install a more advanced 5-speed TB50LS Icing A750F. It is also a Toyota series and it can also be found on the Lexus LX470, Toyota Tundra and many other cars from this manufacturer. All boxes are very strong and reliable, able to go more than the engine and the whole machine with good maintenance. 
The poor speed bugs are only threatened by overheating due to dirty radiators, extremely cruel treatment with a complex lack of maintenance and runs far beyond 30. For very racers and early with runs from 200,000 km, failure of the gas turbine engine blocking alignments is possible. Then you can wait for the failure of the GDT bushings, it's all seal and oil leakage. A reliable valve body, reliable electronics and a durable mechanical part leave practically no chance of breaking this harsh unit without the help of smart servicemen or by personal efforts. If the box works, then most likely it will continue to work. It is enough to change the oil on time and even if there are already jerks, you need to just flush the automatic transmission with the valve body removed and it will go again. Surprising for today's vitality. True, fuel consumption and dynamics are no longer so encouraging. The 5-speed automatic transmission is just as indestructible, but with a run of more than 200,000 km, you will have to change the solenoids. By 250,000 mileage, the gas turbine engine blocking linings were out quite often, and the consequences of working with worn linings come earlier and more expensive. In general, this is one of the most reliable 5-speed transmissions and also quite dynamic and modern. In all boxes, it is recommended to change the oil at least every 60,000 km and preferably more often. The boxes are not whimsical to the type of oil, they are designed for T4 TWS. So you should not pour a second tax run. Surprisingly, the Grand Vitara's gearboxes are the least of the transmission hassles. Much more troublesome other nodes. The most running engines are inline fours with a volume of 2 and 2.4 liters. Less common are 1.6 liter engines, old Suzuki V6, 2.7 liters were installed only on American cars, but with a 3.2 liter engine from GM, the same as on the Chevrolet Captiva, the car was delivered to us officially for some time. Diesel engines were also not officially delivered to us, but cars with a Renault 1.9 engine are still found. All engines are good, although Suzuki's inline fours are prone to all appetite and the 2008 2.4 liter engines also had problems with the cylinder block that leaked right through the wall. And since modern engines are made from incomprehensible waste by stamping aluminum cola cans, it turned out to be almost impossible to brew or someone somehow fix this problem outside the factory. However, more on that below. Common problems of all motors are related to the design of the cooling system. Radiators are frankly weak, often flowing at the junction or plastic and aluminum parts, then the expansion tank cap doesn't release excessive pressure. Catalyst and a weak exhaust system are another common trouble for all Suzuki and GM engines. The catalyst resource is usually less than 200,000 mileage, and the exhaust system often doesn't live up to hundreds of thousands of mileage without loss. Of course, cars that go into the mud and off-road suffer first of all, but even in a car with a purely urban operating mode, the exhaust system looks completely unpresentable already in the fifth or sixth year of service. Oil leaks due to a very simple cranky ventilation system and not the best oil seals on inline fours are also a common problem. The weakness of the crankshaft rear oil seal is especially annoying, for the replacement of which you will have to remove the gearbox. The 2-liter petrol engine is the most common. The design of its very respectable age. The J20A, JB420A series was installed on the previous generation of the model. This motor is 16 valve with a timing chain drive and is quite reliable. True, its character is not very suitable for a heavy machine. Despite the presence of a phase shifter on the intake shaft, there is not enough thrust at low speeds, but the tops are quite lively. The resource of the piston group is quite decent, about 250-300 thousand mileage before overhaul. But this is if you do not allow excessive loss of oil through the valve seals and leaks. It doesn't tolerate a low oil level, it turns off the liners with a guarantee, damaging the crankshaft and block yokes. Runners prefer thicker oil, at least SAE40. The pressure on engines with runs about 1,500 may no longer be enough, and this leads to accelerated wear of the crankshaft liners. Valve stamp seals and seals are a sore point, they will have to be changed quite often. Already after hundreds of thousands of runs, it is recommended to replace the caps so that the piston rings do not coke. At the same time, it is worth cleaning the intake manifold, it is also very dirty. On a run of 200,000, a complete revision of the engine is recommended, and the piston group may still be in excellent condition, but the cylinder head will almost certainly require serious repairs. Fortunately, the motor is very maintainable. There are repair sizes for almost all wear parts, and spare parts do not cost space money and two repair sizes of pistons are just a holiday at the present time, although they are rarely needed. In a good scenario, you can get by with repairing the cylinder head and replacing the liners, and the piston group would withstand another 100 to 1,500 mileage. The timing chain resource 
cannot be called gigantic, but it usually takes care of 120-150 thousand, which is a good indicator by now. The main thing is that early breakthrough of the chain cannot be feared. Although cases of the appearance of extraneous noise in the timing with runs of less than 100 thousand still occur, they do not always end with the replacement of the chain and tensioners. Ignition modules and spark plugs require constant attention, otherwise the consumption increases and the dynamics drops sharply. Weak spark plug tips need annual maintenance, and spark plugs need to be replaced. Moreover, the motor is sometimes able to eat up the equilibrium iridium denso, which for some reason are assigned to it according to the passport. This is especially true for engines that are operated on 90-second gasoline, so checking and replacing candles every 30,000 km is highly recommended. It's also not necessary to go broke for platinum or iridium, ordinary NGK works just as well. The 2.4 liter engine is very similar to the little brother but has several features. Firstly, the block is new and it's not cast but stamped from recycled aluminum. And until 2008, the robot at the factory pulled the cylinder head studs. It would seem what is the connection? It's simple. The material turned out to be weak, the block began to flow over time. A typical problem is an antifreeze leak from the cooling jacket under the exhaust manifold. Less common is a leak into the oil. It will not be possible to weld the crack exactly, extruded aluminum doesn't hold welding, and such procedures are not recommended due to thermal deformation. Rimming and putting a patch from cold welding, as it done on cast iron blocks, will also fail. The block is weak and the vibrations will quickly loosen the patch. Usually the block is simply replaced. Moreover, the short block assembly is changing. It was this operation that was done within all warranty cars, but there was no revocable company, so you can meet a car with a leak on board. Another nuance is the lack of repair dimensions of the piston group. This is not a critical problem, because the pistons are cheap and the liners can be removed with liquid nitrogen and replaced. And the materials are quite strong. The resource of the piston group during normal operation is more than 300,000 km. The crankshaft has one repair size, but the cylinder head must also be replaced when worn. However, there are always options. In general, the motor is also quite successful and even pleases with the higher thrust, which is so lacking in a heavy machine. But its character is again torsional high speed. The small 1.6 liter engine on the three door JB416 is in many ways similar to its 2 liter counterpart. It is not considered particularly problematic, but at age it also begins to suffer from oily appetite, which can lead to serious damage. V6 engines fit the car much better. Both the native Suzuki 2.7 J27 and the GM 3.2, which here received the name JB632, but they are too rare. Suzuki's PV6 is a little more troublesome. Firstly, the resource of the timing chain is far from unlimited here, but when noise appears on the right cylinder head, it is immediately worth changing the entire timing kit. It is prone to jumping, as a result of which the valves on one of the cylinder heads bend, and on the second they work normally. So the timing mechanism is already arranged. Usually the consequences are even worse than when the circuit breaks. The motor continues to run, tearing off well hands, heads and grating pistons and cylinders. There will be nothing left to repair. Of the pluses, the presence of repair dimensions and a common resource. But with spare parts everything is quite complicated. Such machines were not supplied to us, and there were not many of them in Japan. However, about the features of contract motors a whole paragraph below. For most Japanese cars, you can easily purchase contract units from Japan. This means guaranteed high quality and not a high price for motors. But in Suzuki's case, something went wrong. Motors of 2.0, 2.4 and 2.7 liters are difficult to purchase inexpensively. Prices even beyond the Ural start at 18,000 rubles for the JB4200A, and the V6 is even more expensive. You will have to repair the motor, but only if there is something to repair there. In addition, a fairly large number of versions of the block and piston group will cause a lot of trouble. The lack of mounting holes in the block and a completely different cylinder head can be an unpleasant surprise for those who re replace the power unit assembly. In general, in terms of parts, Suzuki is not a typical Japanese car. Maybe this is a view from the European part of Russia, but everything is different with you. Are there specialists who can pick up the right node and sellers who sell it for a penny? Maybe so, but to warn future owners about the nuance is definitely worth it. We know diesel engines are rare, but a few reviews indicate that they prove to be very mediocre, if not worse. This is the end of the information about the problems of the Suzuki Grand Vitara. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.